It's the coldest night of the year so far in 2020, with both Environment Canada and the City of Toronto issuing extreme cold warnings, cautioning people to limit their time outdoors. The city has also opened up warming centres like this one here over at Metro Hall in an effort to keep people safe. Bone chilling, teeth chattering cold. The City of Toronto issues a cold weather alert when it's minus 15 degrees or minus 20 degrees with the wind chill. Not unusual for February, but with the state of homelessness at an increased high, the extreme plunge in temperature on this coldest night so far poses a danger for those on the streets. It's not surprising to see 8,000, 9,000 people in the shelter systems on any given night. Uh, even on the coldest nights, it becomes that much more magnified, but the reality is it's a problem, you know, on the warmest days as well. City officials say shelters are usually at capacity, but on a night like this, city staff have relaxed shelter rules with a goal of not turning anyone away. They also have expanded services, including their street outreach team working throughout the night. When we have extreme cold like this, that's why our staff are out there making sure that, that, that people who are outside, uh, who are, uh, have not availed themselves of any of the services that we're offering, know that those services exist. And if, if they want transportation to a shelter, to the referral center, we can do that. With the cold also comes slippery roads. The city says 200 salt trucks will be out throughout the night to service roadways and sidewalks. Know that tomorrow uh, it is going to be slippery. And, and so caution to drivers and cyclists who are out to, to drive to the conditions, to be aware of pedestrians, uh, take your time. But the biggest advice appears to be to avoid the cold altogether, with officials saying if you don't need to be outside, don't. The city is keeping these warming centers like this one here at Metro Hall open until noon tomorrow. The city is also asking residents to call 311 if they do see somebody that is in need. Melissa Nakavali, City News.